In our last video, we used microscopes to estimate the size of cells. In this one, what we're going to do is we're going to use a formula to work out the magnification of an image that we have. So we're going to work with mag magnification. We're also going to rearrange the formula to work out one or two other things as well, which are given in the formula. Let's just move that down there. Okay, so that's the formula we need to note and remember. And we're going to have a quick practice on something that's quite simple, looking at the magnification of this five pence coin. So how much has this five pence coin been magnified by? Well, we need to know firstly the size of the image and then the actual size of the object. Sometimes we have the real size of the real object written underneath. And there's our real object. And we can measure that using a ruler. If that's not given to you, you can use a ruler to measure that. And we can see that real object has a size of eight millimeters and our image is nine centimeters but we should write that as 90 millimeters to keep the units the same and then it's just a case of putting those numbers into the formula so we've got 90 millimeters as the size of the image on top and underneath we've got the actual the real size of the object which is eight millimeters we can plug that into our calculator and we'll get an answer of 11.25. We put a little times in front of it because it's a magnification. And there's our answer. The image is 11.25 times bigger than the actual object. Now let's have a look at a biology example. So here we've got a cell, we've got our formula, and we're told that the actual size of the cell is 50 micrometers. That's given in the question just there. And we need to work out the magnification. So again, we work out the size of our image because we've got the size of the actual object. And if you look carefully, that's, I believe, 66 millimeters. So we've got a size of 66 millimeters for the image and 50 micrometers for the actual object. Now, the slight problem here is we can't do this calculation without making the units the same. We won't get the correct value if we don't have the same units. So we need to convert 66 millimeters into micrometers. And you remember from the last video, if you saw it, that the way we do that, millimeters to micrometers is times a thousand. So we take our 66 millimeters, multiply by a thousand. Hopefully you don't need a calculator to do that. And we get 66,000 micrometers. So now the units are the same, we can go ahead and use that formula or the equation. So we add 66,000 on the top divided by 50 micrometers, which was given in the question. And we get an answer of 1320, 1320 at the time sign. So we know that the image has been magnified by 1320 times. Okay, but sometimes we're not working out magnification. Sometimes we need to work out one or the other of the parts of the equation. So in this case, we want to work out the size of the object, the actual size of the object. It might be useful to remember this formula triangle. If you're not comfortable with rearranging formulas, the formula triangle can really help. We're trying to work out the actual size of the object. So we need to divide the size of the image by the magnification. So the size of the image in this case is 30 millimeters. That's given in the question. So we do 30 millimeters divided by the magnification, which is 2000. 30 divided by 2000 gives us an answer of 0 0.015. And that's in millimeters. We might be asked to convert that into micrometers so how do we do that how do we go into micrometers well you'll remember that converting to micrometers is just a case of multiplying by a thousand so in that case it would be 15 micrometers so 0 0.015 millimeters is 15 micrometers okay in the second example we want to work out the size of the image so using our formula triangle, it's magnification times the actual size of the object. Those two are given in the question. So we do 35,000 times the actual size, which is 0 
millimeters. And if you work that out, you'll get an answer of 35 millimeters. We won't convert that because we're looking at a size of an image and we can detect that just by looking at it. So we're going to leave it as 35 millimeters unless the question asked us to convert it. Okay, so there's our answers. And there's the equation that we need and a few examples of how you might use it to work out either magnification or the size of an image or the actual size of an object. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.